Hey there, it's me Red Knight and welcome back to my channel for Heyday and Heyday Pop videos. Now for today I'm going to be focusing on Heyday Pop because Season 2 has started and there's a wonderful puzzle pass that's worth getting within the game. Now Season 2, we just click on the actual icon and it changes and there we go. It's the fairground season with some opportunities to get some brand new puzzles and new decoration. There's also the puzzle pass. Now the actual Star River is this one here that you just saw me sliding down. Now on the left hand side for that you've got the opportunity to get free items. On the right hand side is the puzzle pass. Now as you progress through the game and you just play the game you'll get specific number of stars, it will open up, you'll be able to claim everything on the left hand side that's free, get to the first major threshold which gives you the actual bronze statue, then you'll go to the next one which is the silver statue and then finally up to the gold gold one and then once you've done the gold statue you're then into the actual uh, end of season challenge where it gives you a good opportunity to get a lot of coins but no more packages to open. Now on the left and right hand side there are decoration but now the puzzle pass does give you a little bit extra and with those items you can actually get three more additional decoration. Now I will probably get two of those now because of my position within the game. The third one I'm still working my way towards at the moment but it does also give you a lot of other items. You get a lot of coins for buying decoration. There's a lot of boosters and tool items. Now when you make the purchase it will confirm with you that you only have a specific period of time to make any claims back if you change your mind <clears throat> but I'm not going to I'm going to be using it so we will actually continue with this one today and claim all of the items so get lots of coins there we go there's packages to be done as well toolboxes to be open there's lives to be gained and these are all of the ones that you have the ability to claim as you progress up this star road so we've got extra goes there, we've got extra hearts, wonderful. A lot of coins there being added as well, which is very nice indeed. You see them going to my total. Now the coins are very useful within the game. They allow you to buy the decorations, which allows you to actually level up within the game. So at the moment, that is the only way to do it. So you play the puzzles, you get the stars, you get the stars, you get the prizes, you get the prizes. You can then buy decoration and level up. Well, here's one of my first ones on the right hand side. Now this this one is going to be the actual bunting fence. As you can see from the image on the right hand side there as well, there's three key decoration. That is the first one and this can only be gotten by season pass holders. There's a few items that are free to start with and then later you'll actually be able to purchase more if you would like to as well. Right, we've got some more lives and more coins and more boosters down there to claim which I do like so let's just get a few of those as well and we'll work our way up to the second prize. The one I'm actually aiming for is the Ferris wheel. I definitely want to get that one, but it's a little bit higher up the actual Star River. Currently within the game, I've gone from the bronze and I'm now silver, and I'm working my way from silver to gold. And then as soon as I've done that, I will then start the challenge. I know a few people have already reached it. They're not on my friend's bar, but some players are very good at these puzzles and very active indeed. And I hope you will download the game when it becomes available in your countries. Now remember, Heyday Pop is another Another game by Supercell. It's not Heyday, it's not uh, Heyday Part 2, it's a completely different game for people who may like puzzle games, who also like the farming aspect, and there's a nice crossover. There's very similar similarities to some of the other games within the game, uh, like the Puzzle Pass is something you can gain in the Clash Royale sphere of the gaming world, uh, and I, I like this combination, I really, really do. Okay, right, box number two. What's it going to be? I wonder. I already know. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, and it is that wonderful candy cart. Look at that. Yay, indeed. I'm going to enjoy placing that one down by my little building. So I think I'm going to have to do some redesigning down here. Maybe take away some of the decoration as well. Yay. Plus some more experience points I do like. So definitely in need of a design option there. Right, claim a few more of those prizes there. Here we go. Coins, coins, coins. They're certainly adding up there. I think I will buy some special decoration later as well. That will definitely allow me to get closer and closer to the next level, that's for sure. 
Right, watering cans, wonderful tool. That one allows you to take both horizontal and vertical lines. You've got the rocket there, which takes from left to right or up and down, depending on the direction. And the hammer clears away one little spot there. Now, I can't do the rest yet. I've got to get up to the next threshold, so I have to play those ones. As you see, there's the next prize down there for the beautiful carousel world. There's the gold. And then there is the final challenge, which is the diamond star race. Once I've completed the actual gold stars. Right, now I've got some decoration down there that needs to be done, but before I do that, there are five more gold boxes to be opened. Now, this is an additional option as well. Uh, you do get the green ones as you play, but now you also get the gold as well. So as I'm progressing through the game, and every now and then I would get a load of these little boxes, open those up as well, and that gives me even more resources, more diamonds, more tools, more boosters, uh, more of everything which can be used within the game. So I do like that one. My totals are increasing quite nicely now. And like I said, I do like to use them. Uh, I think them as part of the game, and uh, sometimes they go down, sometimes they go up, case by case on the puzzles. Right now, as I said, I want to redesign. I've got a little bit more work to do down there. I'm enjoying creating my farm, and it is a lot of pleasure for me. So... We've got some wonderful new decorative pieces down there, which I do like. There's this beautiful bunting fence that it just gave me. So I wonder how that will look. Let's place that down and see what it looks like. That's actually not so bad. I like the way it joins together. Hmm, interesting, interesting, interesting. Well, let's put that back into storage for the moment and see how it goes in other locations. There we go. Yeah, five more. 190 for a new one. No, thank you. Not at the moment. That's a nice purchase, though. Hmm, okay. Stick that back into storage. Okay, uh, no, not the hedgerow. I want the bunting. Not the hedgerow. Bunting. Okay, move the bunting. Put the hedgerow back. Okay, my fingers are too big. Right. Hmm, okay, you can make some nice little patterns just like regular fencing there. Could be nice for a carnival tent. I need a tent. That's it. I need a tent. Yeah, we need a tent within the game. So, design team. Hey, dear pop team. Tent, please. Okay, let's place my caddy car. <gasps> oh, that looks good. Protecting the wheels from people getting hurt and coming in on the side and they just come around. I need some path pieces in there. Now, there's more items to be purchased if you wanted to, but I'm not interested on that side. And that does look good. Okay, another 2,000 odd points to go before I can level up. And I do need to get that beautiful ranch windmill. I so want that one. I also want some more of the animals as well. And the wheat bale. So, place that one down there for the moment. Mm, where to stick it? Where to stick it? Where to stick it? Uh, oh, God. I'm going to have to do a complete redesign. I know it. So, I really, really am going to have to do a complete redesign. So, I think that will do in another video, maybe. We can clear away all of the decoration and then work on redesigning the farm. Oh, that'll be so much fun. Right, let's take away the pieces. It's certainly very easy to do, so we just take away all of those hedgerows at the moment. And now I've got more coins. I can buy more roses as well. well I used to have more coins. I'm back down to 341 now. So, I uh, can't really buy anything else down there, can I? Oh well, so I bought myself a brand new windmill, which was very nice indeed. I'm pleased about that one. Later, I think I will get the hay bale, and I will get some more of the actual other decoration. Now, next level, which is level 13, there's a beautiful boat down there, and some wisteria trees, which I so want. But that will be later, later, later. Now, remember this is a puzzle game, and there are some brand new additions that have been added to the game as well. One of those new additions is the balloons. And somebody says to me, how do you play the balloons? I find them very confusing. Actually, they're very, very easy indeed. The balloons go up, everything else goes down. So it is a new block within the game. And all you've got to do is get the balloon from wherever it is and get it out the top. So just like that, it goes up and up and up, and it disappears. So yay, that was so simple and so wonderful. I liked it. Right, well, that's me, Red, finishing off with this video. Okay, I've got Season 2, the puzzle pass, there's new deco, there's balloon puzzles, and a few other new features as well. For those of you who can get the game, enjoy. For those of you who still can't, sorry about that. But when I find out if it's going to go global to more countries, I will let you know. But in the meantime, make sure you subscribe to my channel, watch these awesome videos, and I will see you in my next one. Take care, have fun, and good popping. Bye now.